Right. Okay, so uh, I'm very happy to be here today. Uh, thank you to Smart Nation Singapore for inviting NLP to join uh, in this program to actually share about our revamp uh, NLP mobile app. So um, uh, what is new about this uh, NLP mobile app is that uh, previously we have actually received a lot of feedback on how to uh, improve upon our previous app. And with all those uh, information and all those suggestions that uh, our patrons have given us, we actually try to improve upon uh, the interface. So what you'll see is that uh, the new interface is much more intuitive. Uh, it has a lot more uh, personal personalized uh, services. So uh, without further ado, let me just show you what uh, is today's content. Okay, so for today, uh, I'm going to cover briefly uh, what are the benefits of using NLP Mobile, uh, how to log into NLP Mobile, as well as uh, you know uh, when you first log in, what do you see on the page. And after that, uh, uh, we also receive feedback that a lot of uh, people are interested uh, how to in how to use the e-newspapers and e-magazines. So uh, we will cover that uh, first and foremost, and then after that, uh, we will show you how to search and borrow the e-books and audio books. Yeah. Uh, if time allows, then we will go on to other functions. Yeah. Uh, so for today, um, just a uh, just maybe a sort of a sharing. Um, do not be uh, anxious if you find that oh, there's a lot of new things that you need to borrow, uh, need to learn. Because uh, what we'll do is uh, we will share the slides and then uh, we'll follow it by with a uh, demonstration. So if there's more time, then we can actually point you to uh, more resources so that you can learn more. So within this one hour, we hope to give you as comprehensive as possible uh, uh, an experience so that you can actually enjoy the NLP mobile app more. Okay. Okay. With the NLP mobile app, what can you actually benefit from? Uh, you can actually benefit from many, many resources. For example, uh, for the newspapers and e-magazines, we actually have uh, access to over 7,000 uh, titles yeah from hundreds of uh, 100 over countries yeah about 160 i think okay uh, also we will be able to assess the sph e newspapers uh, besides that you will also find it a breeze to achieve search for titles uh, we have about 900,000 uh, copies of ebooks and audiobooks available for you yeah um, and in addition to that uh, what's new is that uh, you will be uh, able to learn new skills from the uh, linda library uh, to actually learn their online courses that you can sign up for and actually at your own pace uh, try to uh, learn about different topics such as songwriting you know as, as, as much as your interest and your um, imagination brings you you whatever that you want to learn try to search for it uh, you'll probably be able to find uh, several things that's online that's available for you uh, besides that, uh, what's new in this app is that we have included uh, very good reads, uh, very uh, personalized uh, recommendations based on what your browsing history, based on the books that you have borrowed, uh, based on the uh, library that you uh, indicate is the one nearest to you. Uh, you will be able to find personalized uh, uh, recommendations for reading uh, for you. Okay. Uh, besides that, of course, the usual uh, functions uh, still applies. We still have the scan and borrow function so that you don't have to uh, use the borrowing station in the libraries. Uh, you can also manage your accounts. Uh, so these are the standard things uh, that you can actually uh, uh, use the app for. Okay. Um, let me show you this um, video uh, so that it's not just myself talking. Uh, let me just show you this video uh, of the NLB mobile app itself. Hold on, let me check whether the sound is working.
All right, so that's a very short introduction to what the app does. And we're moving on to, yeah, the next one will be the downloading. So uh, depending on the device that you use, uh, uh, if you are using an Android device, uh, you can actually get the latest update of the mobile app from Google Play Store. If you're using the iOS device, the Apple device, uh, please go to the Apple App Store. You can also use the QR code that I've provi uh, provided on this screen. Uh, feel free to scan and uh, it will lead you to the App Store to actually download or update. Uh, the uh, app to the latest uh, version. Okay, if you are an existing user of the previous mobile app, do not uh, worry. You can just straight away uh, update uh, the the app itself. Okay, they will be updated to the new app. Yeah. Okay, so this is a typical screen that you see, as you can see from the top right hand corner. Uh, it's either install or update. Yeah. So the interface will be look slightly different from uh, each other depending on the phone that you are using. So click on update and you will see that it's installing. Uh, there will be some movement uh, around the icon, which is this orange and white uh, icon. Okay, And then when it's done, you can just click on open. Okay, a uh, gentle reminder here, if you are using the mobile app to read eBooks and e-magazines online, uh, please try to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, as much as possible because if not, uh, the data used for your phone line will be quite substantial, yeah? Okay, so this is uh, what will look like when you try to log in for the first time. When you tap on the app, uh, you will see that the uh, app will load itself. Okay, and then there will be this um, uh, top right hand corner where there's a plus sign. So you need to actually, yeah, you need to actually um, make sure that you click on the plus sign to sign in to your NLB. Uh, my library ID, which is this online account that you can use to manage your account and borrow ebooks and e-resources. Okay, so this is the screen that you will see when you click on that. Um, if you already have the My Library ID, please key in the ID and password. If you do not have, uh, you need to look at the bottom right-hand corner where there's a register here. Uh, just click on it. Okay, uh, there are two ways to sign in. One is using SingPass, the other one is using NRIC. I'll just show you the screen how it looks like. Okay, if you click on logging using SingPass, uh, what you will see is these two options. Number one, uh, you can log in through the QR code, okay, which is you scan uh, this QR code and, and then you'll be able to log in. Uh, just tap on the QR code itself and, and then you'll be able to log in if you have already used SingPass to log in previously yeah, to other government uh, services. If not, you can click on password login and key in your SingPass ID and password. Okay. You will be led back to the same screen. Uh, they'll be uh, showing you how to actually uh, if you don't have a My Library ID, they will prompt you for it. I'll just follow the instruction. I will uh, show you how this looks like uh, later on during the demonstration. Okay, so as you can see, the first uh, screen that you see is highlights. So if there are any important events, any interesting events that uh, the library wishes to inform you, you will see these highlights. If you don't want to see these highlights, just uh, swipe uh, on, uh, swipe up, upwards, and then you will be able to see the main uh, landing page. Okay. Okay. So how to log in? So once you have logged in uh, using the ID and password, uh, you need to check whether you already logged in. Yeah. So uh, you can uh, do so by checking the top right hand corner. If you have already logged in, uh, you will be able to see your initials. Okay. So in this case, uh, my colleague has done her login. Uh, that's why you can see this YH initials at the top right hand corner. Uh, for myself, probably it will be SC or something like this. Yeah. So everyone's uh, uh, initials are different. So you will see a different thing. Uh, on the other hand, on the left hand side, you also see hi. You know, depending on what's your name that you use, uh, they, they will show your name. So if you can see these two, it means that you have already logged in. Same thing for the uh, NRIC, click on NRIC, and then they will prompt you to key in your NRIC and your date of birth. Uh, from there, you actually will click next, and then uh, they will prompt you to, uh, you know, uh, log in. Uh, if not, uh, if you don't have a My Library ID, again, they will give you instructions on how to do it. Yeah. Okay, the same thing, so how to check that you have already logged in. All right, so let's come to the NLB mobile landing page. What would you see on the landing page? Um, uh, one of the uh, improvements uh, for this new revamp app is that we have made it very, very simple, very, very straightforward to assess different uh, options and different uh, menu items, okay? For example, uh, it's just one tap to go into the e-newspapers and e-magazines, one tap to go into SPH uh, newspapers, and one tap to go and check uh, what are the programs available. Okay, once again, um, 
On the top right-hand corner where you see your name or your initials, uh, you can actually access your library details. Okay, for example, uh, there are several, several functions there, uh, mainly to do with your personal account details, okay, your profile. So if you want to uh, change any personal details or you want to set any reminders, we, we, set, uh, we, we uh, gave this app this uh, function to be able to remind you uh, when your uh, due date for your books are almost up, uh, whether it's uh, three days, five days, seven days beforehand. Yeah, so you can actually choose to um, do that. Okay, uh, one interesting function is that you can add the profiles of your family members. That means if you are borrowing books on behalf of your grandchildren, for example, uh, you can actually add in their profile simply by uh, clicking onto the top right-hand corner where your initials are and add profile. That means uh, same thing, uh, add in their My Library ID and password. You'll be able to borrow on their behalf. There's this um, magnifying glass that you can see. Uh, this icon will actually allow you to search for library items uh, using keywords. Okay, so what do you see on the landing page itself at the bottom? Okay, at the bottom are different tabs. Uh, so there are different functions that you can use to check on different things. For example, uh, if you click on this cover, uh, there's the landing page where you see the highlights and all that. Okay, and there are the highlights on the second tab. Uh, on the third, uh, is the accounts uh, icon. When you click on account, uh, you will be able to check your borrowing records. Uh, for example, what are your reservations and what are the books you have added as favorites previously? Okay, so all these will be in. Yeah, so, and then after that, there is this more. Uh, more will have a lot more functions uh, got to do with things like uh, whether you want to recommend a title to the library, whether you have any feedback, uh, and uh, whether you have any FAQs. So the more uh, button, uh, the tab there will actually lead you to that page. Okay, so as I was sharing, um, the interface is very intuitive. So depending on what you're trying to use, uh, the different options, just tap on it uh, and you'll, uh, you'll be led to the uh, relevant uh, function. Okay, um, yeah. And there's this new thing, the green color tab, if you can see, is to plan your visit. So um, during this time, especially, I think um, people want to know that they are able to enter the library and uh, to do so, you can plan your visit. You can go to, uh, you know, can actually re reserve a slot to visit the library. Yeah, of course, there's also new ebooks for you. Okay. Um, so that is the first page that you see, but if you swipe upwards, you'll be able to see more details. Uh, uh, there will be actually books on different topics and books from the mother tongue languages, uh, the various mother tongue languages, you'll be able to see them. And if you're interested in any of this, again, just one tap to go inside to find out more. Okay, similarly, if you click on the um, um, initials, you'll be able to find that uh, there are a few functions there. For example, there's this bell here that will tell you about the uh, notification activities uh, to tell you about the books that you have uh, recently borrowed or reserved. Okay, and very useful, uh, there's a very useful function here, which is the library card function. Okay, so many a times uh, we go out and we go to the library. I do not know whether some of you have this experience before uh, where you forgot to uh, bring your library card, okay? So if you have your mobile phone with you, uh, you are actually able to generate this uh, mobile uh, mobile phone, uh, this uh, QR code, which is uh, effectively your uh, electronic uh, library card, okay? With this electronic uh, QR code, you are able to scan uh, at the machine, uh, just as how you would use your library card. So this is quite a useful function. Okay, so, um, I'm going to show you how uh, the using the e-newspaper will look like, yeah? Okay, so when you click on the e-newspapers and e-magazines, what you will see is that uh, you can actually click proceed to actually go on to the next page. You will see something like uh, on the left, on the right-hand side, the press reader, uh, uh, icon and this press reader page. Okay, uh, what is press reader? Press reader is this company that provides magazines and e-newspapers from all over the world. So uh, we actually have some arrangement with them where uh, we actually uh, subscribe to their services on behalf of the nation. So uh, feel free to use the uh, resources there, the magazines and the uh, um, uh, newspapers. Okay, there is no limit to the number of magazines and newspapers you can download for your viewing. Uh, 
uh, though, of course, uh, uh, subject only to the capacity of your phone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, the librarians are actually are very uh, glad to use this service. Uh, we actually are able to read uh, many, many interesting titles from here as well. So we uh, encourage our, uh, our patrons to also use uh, uh, this particular function. Of course, there is another app uh, later on I will show you, uh, which is Libby as a, a, another company uh, that also has some copies of uh, uh, this e-magazines. Okay, so all you need to do is tap on the relevant publication you're interested in, and then you will be able to uh, find out more. So um, because of time constraint, I'm not able to show you the entire um, press reader app. So what will happen is that you need to uh, maybe to find out more, you may want to uh, go to YouTube and key in uh, the keywords IMDA NLB. Okay, you will be able to find this IMDA Digital Port uh, Series 31. Uh, uh, where my colleague actually shared about uh, how to use Press Reader. Yeah, so if you are interested, uh, because today we are covering mainly the NLB mobile app, uh, if you are interested, please proceed to uh, find out from uh, YouTube, uh, you know, key in the IMD NLB and find out from their digital port series. Okay, and SBH newspapers. So if you click on that, again, uh, it's very straightforward. All you need to do is just click proceed. Okay, and then you'll be able to see the different newspapers as you swipe upwards. Okay, we'll show you during the demo. Okay, right. So um, besides newspapers and magazines, we are now moving on to other items. So what are the other items in the libraries that's available, especially during this time where most of us are actually working from home, uh, staying at home most of the time um, to prevent uh, the transmission and to stay healthy. So we would actually be able to use uh, the NLB mobile app to search for library items, uh, especially eBooks to borrow. Okay, so what you need to do is very simple. Just click onto the magnifying glass and then um, in the search box that's, uh, you know, that pops up, you just need to key in your keyword. And as, uh, when you key in the keywords, you'll be able to find you know, the, all the uh, listing of the books based on the keywords that you have sent, uh, you, you're keyed in. Yeah. So, uh, and the interface is very intuitive in a way that uh, it's classified. So you can straight away see with one look whether you want to have uh, just ebooks, or just audiobooks, or just physical books. Or, or even the uh, uh, audiovisual items. Okay, so how to borrow the ebooks and audiobooks? Very simply, just tap onto the title that you are interested in after you have searched for those titles and tap on audiobooks. Uh, any titles that you are interested in, just click borrow and then they will ask you proceed to borrow. All you need to do is just click on it and that's it. Okay, and uh, when you come to this uh, page, they will ask you. Uh, do you want to continue browsing or do you want to read uh, in the uh, browser or you want to read in the Libby app? Okay, so what is the difference between the two? If you read in the browser, it means that you are using the internet connection. Uh, and what happens is that you need to be uh, connected to the internet in order to continue reading uh, the what, whatever uh, titles that you have uh, selected. Okay, if you choose to read in Libby, uh, this app that is... Uh, uh, another company's app, uh, you need to actually download and uh, register it for the first time. And then you will be able to um, use the Libby app uh, to download uh, the ebook itself. And you don't have to actually uh, stay online. You can actually read offline. Okay, that's the benefit of uh, uh, downloading and using the uh, Libby app. Yeah. Okay, so very simply after you have downloaded uh, the Libby app and you click on it, you will be able to start reading just by clicking on the cover itself because there are different functions, I will be able to briefly show you, yeah. Okay, how do you borrow audiobooks? Okay, same thing. So when you click on audiobooks, um, the selection will be mainly uh, only with audiobooks and you just need to uh, click on borrow. Uh, you'll be able to borrow uh, the items itself, okay. So for uh, physical books, how do you borrow physical books? You can also click on the tab books and these are the library books that's available in specific library branches. All you need to do is find out uh, which branch they are at, okay? Supposedly, uh, if, it's, um, if you have selected, for example, Jurong Regional Library, uh, when you first download this app uh, as one of your favorite libraries, uh, we would actually um, sort it in that order. That means um, copies that's available in Jurong Regional Library will appear on top. Okay, so um, if you set up uh, properly during the first download, you will be able to enjoy a more seamless uh, 
experience, uh, we will actually sort uh, so that it's easier for you to find uh, the titles in the libraries that you have indicated is nearer to you or your favorites. Okay, so if you are already there at the library and the physical book is found, uh, all you need to do is just click on scan to borrow and there is this function uh, that is on the bottom of the screen. Uh, if you look at the bottom center part of the screen where there's a QR code orange icon, you, when you click on it, uh, you will find that uh, they will have you activate your camera and the camera will actually be able to scan the barcode. And once you scan the barcode, it's equivalent to you have already borrowed the books and you can just walk out of the library without the gates uh, triggering some kind of alarm. Yeah. Okay, you want to find out more about Libby? How do you learn more? Uh, you can actually uh, find out more. Let us take a break. Uh, let's see the uh, video that's available. Just give me a moment while I look for the video. Okay. okay, so this is the video about uh, Libby. Okay, so that's uh, the short video about Libby. Let me stop the sharing. Uh, give me a moment while I turn off the video. Okay. All right. So that's the video on Libby. Uh, if you want to, you can go to YouTube and search for the keywords Libby, the reading companion to the NLB mobile app. You will be able to see the uh, video as well. So uh, if it's uh, it was very fast for you, uh, feel free to just go to YouTube and search for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, another function for the NLB mobile app is that you are able to look at uh, the programs that we have organized for you. So particularly in this during this period, uh, NLB has actually uh, organized many, many online programs such as, uh, you know, things that uh, you can actually do at home, whether it's regarding health, whether it's regarding uh, sustainability or uh, arts. Yeah, there are various, various uh, topics uh, depending on your interest. So, uh, you are able to click on the uh, programs tab and then go on and find out more uh, to tap proceed to find out more uh, programs that's available. Okay, uh, once you click on it, uh, the uh, app will actually direct you to this uh, website called Eventbrite uh, and uh, it's in the collection of a Go Library, uh, which is a collection of uh, programs by the National Library Board. So just click on to the relevant uh, programs that you're interested in and then register from there. Okay. Of course, there's another way to find out more programs as well. Uh, we have made it uh, very simple. You can actually go to Eventbrite uh, uh, website, uh, www.eventbrite.sg 
and then use the keyword TOYL to search for the programs. Alternatively, you can use the link that I show on screen. Uh, this is HTTPS, just uh, go.gov.sg slash TOYL for time of your life. Uh, you will be able to find all sorts of uh, programs. Uh, uh, I think in September, there will be another program that will teach uh, how to use Libby in detail. Yeah, so if you're interested, do look out for these programs that we have planned for you. Of course, there are other functions uh, like uh, searching for online resources. Um, like recently, there's a lot of new information about the vaccines and all that. Uh, I think there is a special segment that we have prepared, uh, which is uh, resources that you can read about uh, comparing the different vaccines. Uh, I think during the demonstration, I will show it to you. Uh, this is the part where you plan your visit. So you can actually book a visit in advance and then you can check the crowd levels uh, using this dashboard that's available. So, you know, in case you're concerned about overcrowding, you know, safe distancing, uh, I think it's a good uh, indication for you before you go down to the library itself. Yeah. Uh, as I was mentioning, uh, one of the first things you'll see is highlights. So if you, are, um, you want to see the highlights, you can click on highlights uh, again to actually see what are the different programs that are available that are we specially highlighted, specially featured for you. Okay, so under the account function, okay, this is different from the one that is on your top right hand corner where your profile is, okay, the profile uh, got to do with your um, personal details and such. When we are talking about accounts, uh, what we mean is that the account uh, of the books and items that you have borrowed uh, from the library. So as you can see from the screen on the left hand side, uh, there are different um, tabs, uh, different buttons, different uh, categories for you to check your loans. Okay, ebook loans. Um, currently, the uh, I think the, the maximum number of books you can borrow is sixteen items. Okay, uh, you can click on it to actually uh, look at the ebooks that you have borrowed and uh, when are they due. Uh, you know, if you want to return them earlier, uh, you can also do so by clicking on that. So uh, we will show you how it's like later on. Okay, you can also check on your favorites uh, books that you favorited previously, your books that you have previously borrowed uh, under past loans okay if you have made reservations you can also click on reservations to see um, what are the books that you have reserved including the physical reservations as well as the ebook reservations okay if you have been searching for a certain title and certain kind of topic uh, it will be uh, reflected in the recently viewed uh, tab okay so very simply um, just one tab to see all the different uh, details Okay, uh, if you have more questions about NLB Mobile, uh, I have provided here this QR code that you can scan and go to the website. Uh, for the convenience of everyone, I've also included the website address itself, uh, which is very easy to remember. Just go to your browser, key in mobileapp.nlb.gov.sg, and that is all. Okay, or you can scan the QR code, you'll be able to see, uh, it will lead you to the same page as well, mobileapp.nlb.gov.sg to uh, answer the questions. Okay, let me just show you uh, how the page looks like. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the page that I was referring to. Uh, just go to mobileapp.nlb.gov.sg. Uh, in case uh, today's uh, there's not enough time to answer all of your questions, feel free to go to this website, okay, mobileapp.nlb.gov.sg, and you'll find that uh, it is a very convenient website that we have built uh, specifically to answer different questions that can arise. For example, how do you use your NLB mobile app? How do you read and download uh, ebooks and audiobooks? How do you read your e newspapers and magazine? Basically, the things that uh, I have shared uh, today. Uh, yeah, and then how do you learn new skills by clicking onto the uh, Linda Library database? Okay, and how do you manage your account? So, all the questions are here. I'll just show you one example. For example, if you are not sure about the part where I was sharing about my library ID, what do you need to do? Click on it. Okay, mobile app and you find that uh, on the left hand side this whole panel here will tell you the details that you need to know in order to use the app successfully okay so uh, for library and library membership and my library id just click on this to find out more okay basically my library id is just a username that let you borrow ebooks uh, access the digital resources of nlb okay so all the detailed steps are here and all the questions that you may have are available here okay Okay, we have um, some time now. I would like to show you how the app looks like. Uh, you'll be prompted to log in. And because uh, it's uh, uh, with enhanced security, you can't see my uh, screen, but I'm actually trying to log in using my thumbprint. 
Okay, so this is the screen that you will see. Okay, and this is the highlights page. So if you want to, um, you know, if you want to find out more, you can actually just look at the highlights. Uh, if not, then you just swipe upwards and you will close the page. Okay, so this is the typical page that you will see. Um, because uh, there are many people asking questions about the SPH newspapers, let me just show you how it looks like when you click on the SPH newspapers. It prompts you to log into SS. Okay. So SPH newspapers, this is the page you will see. And what you need to do is you need to click on proceed. Okay, so the details are here and there's some, uh, some FAQ if you're interested to find out if you have questions about how to access these uh, resources. Yeah. If not, uh, let's see what is uh, in the news today. So if I click on Straits Times, okay, or, or you can see the whole list of uh, SPH newspapers here as well. So Taobao, New Paper, Xinmin, uh, Business Times, Rita Harian, and uh, Tama Muratsu. Okay, so if I click on Straits Times, you will be able to see uh, Straits Times as it is printed. So the headlines for today is about the JSS payouts, 2.2 uh, uh, billion to support wages. Okay, so you just swipe, um, uh, you know, to the next page, swipe to the next page. You can even see the uh, advertisements. Okay, and if you find that this screen is uh, very small, you can always uh, zoom in to find out more. Okay, so our rec recommendation is that uh, try to assess this using the laptop uh, rather, okay, or a, a sufficiently uh, large uh, mobile device instead of the mobile phone. You'll find that uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to read, yeah, but of course you can still um, try to expand the size and read, yeah. So, but we recommend that you use a laptop, it's easier. Okay, and you can also click on Another newspaper, Taobao, for example. Uh, same thing. Okay. All right. Okay, I hope uh, this is useful for you. Let's look at the other functions. Okay. Um, suppose you want to look at uh, what's inside Press Reader. You are looking at uh, the uh, international newspapers and e-magazines. Okay. Click on the e-newspaper and e-magazines and then click on Proceed. Okay, if you do not have the Press Reader app downloaded, uh, uh, the system will prompt you to do so. So feel free to actually uh, uh, download the app and then uh, they will actually uh, guide you through the process. Okay, so if you want to, you can select your publication. Okay, so you can search by countries on the top. If you can see the filters, you can see countries, languages, magazines. So for example, if countries, you can look at, uh, if some of you are interested in uh, Japanese newspaper or recently, uh, if you want to learn more Korean, you, know, you want to go to Korea and learn, uh, you know, uh, read some of the Korean newspaper, you can even do so. So just for demonstration sake, let me see whether we have Japan, yeah, okay. Okay, so some of these are uh, publications that is from Japan, you can actually try to read. Yeah. Okay, so depending on which one you want. Okay, so all the different uh, titles here. And if you are interested, suppose in scuba diving, for example, you can just tap on it. Okay, and you can actually read it. Okay, you can actually download as well uh, the copy into your device. If you want to download, just click on the down arrow to download. Okay, uh, same thing. So everything is just, you know, one tap, two taps away. Very simple to use. Okay, depending on the function, some uh, magazines may even have uh, reading functions. For example, if you look at the screen, the bottom left-hand corner, the, uh, the second icon from the left is actually uh, a headset. So if I click on the headset, Dive the incredible waters of vanilla. For muck and black water, there is no better place to venture than a nilau. Just be sure to bring your super macro. 
Okay, so if the magazines have this function, you can even have them read to you. Sometimes you are busy doing something else. You just want to uh, listen to them read it. Yeah, that's possible as well. Okay, so this is a, a short uh, introduction of a press reader. Okay, I just go and click on the back button and then you'll be able to. Okay, let's look at programs now. So if you are interested to find out more about programs, you can click on programs, okay, proceed. And there you are. So all these um, different programs that you have uh, that is uh, organized by National Library, you'll be able to find it. Okay, so notice uh, one of the uh, keywords, uh, one of the key phrases is time of your life. Okay, time of your life, uh, uh, times future of work. So uh, a topic on uh, assistive technology. Unfortunately, I think the sales has ended, uh, probably sold out or uh, the event is taking place. Uh, oh, it's taking place right now at three o'clock. Okay, so depending on what you are interested in, you can just click on to the um, uh, event itself. So if I click on Librarian's World, for example, yeah. So there will be details on uh, where this program is taking place, what time, okay, and then uh, what is the program about. Then from there, uh, you can actually register. So click on the register button at the bottom, the green button, and then go on to register with your mail. Okay. So another book, let me just show you maybe the sense of wonder. Okay, and this is the page. Um, let me just um, start reading. Okay, so this is a typical ebook uh, that when you are um, uh, reading this ebook and you can uh, similarly just, okay, the, the background, I think there's some control that you can do. Okay, for example, let me just show you. Okay, I can control the different, whether it is a, black background or it is a dark background okay i actually can control some of these functions just by tapping one time it goes back to the page and i tap one more time all the functions will appear again and then i can control them and make changes i'll just tap onto the a letter a on top okay to control how the text will look to me so for example the text size i can increase the text size okay i can reduce them Okay, so there are a lot of uh, abilities when you are dealing with uh, electronic resources, a lot of flexibility for you to enjoy uh, your uh, electronic resources. So it's not really true. Uh, people say that, you know, it's very tiring for the eye. So for myself, I find that this particular background works for me. Uh, it's not pure uh, black and white. I, I can read the text and at the same time, it's less, it's, it's more soothing for me. So depending on your preference and, you know, what's suitable for you, you can do that. Okay, so... Let me just go back. So this is Libby. Okay, so uh, I've covered the accounts. Uh, so you can also see things like past loans. Okay. You can also see your reservations. So in this case, I have some ebook reservations that I've made. Okay. Then you can see uh, what are the recently filled uh, items. Okay, so recently, these are the different items uh, depending on your interest. Okay, if you have built them, you can actually go back to them. Don't have to worry that, uh, you know, you have forgotten which title is that, uh, which, who is the author, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, let's go to the last bit, which is the more function. Okay, I didn't quite cover in the slides because I think it's quite straightforward. So you can click on the more uh, tab on the bottom right hand corner and you will see these functions. So the libraries, Okay, so details on the libraries. So for example, because I'm based in Tampines Regional Library, you see that I have a preferred library. So um, when I search for titles, they will actually, um, you know, uh, sort and show titles from Tampines Regional Library first. Okay, if you want to recommend a title, key in the details to recommend the title. If you want to, uh, there are additional functions such as lock, locking your app uh, so that uh, whenever you want to uh, open your NLB mobile app, they have to have your credentials or your biometric, yeah, your thumbprint to actually activate. You can actually uh, go into the FAQ to find out more. Okay, then of course, uh, yeah. Let me stop share now. All right. 
So this is the NLP mobile app, uh, the NLP uh, website. Okay, so yeah. So typically you go to okay, nlb.gov.sg and uh, this is our main page. So if you are not using the app, you're using the laptop, all you need to do is on the top right-hand corner, it's almost similar, top right-hand corner, tap on login. Okay, they will lead you to the page to actually log in to your account. Okay, so okay, similarly, so when you log in, there's two ways to log in. One is using your My Library ID. The other is using your NLB mobile app. The app has a camera function. Remember the orange button, the round button at the bottom. So just click on it, and then you'll be able to log in. Okay, uh, let me just show you. Uh, somebody was asking about the catalog. Yeah. So um, at this website, at the top right-hand corner, just next to log in, top right-hand corner, can you see this magnifying glass? Okay, so similarly, if you want to key in anything, uh, your keywords, for example, uh, ketogenic diet, I just click and I press enter, and then you'll be able to find all the different uh, titles that's uh, related to your topic of interest. Okay, and you can select, on the left-hand side, you can select the type of books, uh, you know, the format of the books, uh, the language. Okay, uh, so material type, is it a book, is it a sound recording, etc, etc. So this is the equivalent of uh, using the laptop, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, so I think that's about it for today. Thank you very much for listening to me for about an hour uh, about the uh, NLB mobile app. We hope you will find it uh, very useful and we hope that you find it enriching. Thank you. Thank you so much, Felix. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for thank joining you. us. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, and hope that you uh, learned more about the NLB mobile app from today's session. Uh, just to let you know, we have an upcoming session in the second week of July, as you can see on the screen. Uh, and it is about how to use the Active SG app, which is a good to have uh, application for us uh, to stay active. So uh, please feel free to sign up for this event and we hope to see you there as well. If there are no further questions for us, then this will be it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to Felix once again. And uh, we hope you, you have you. a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you.